make sure we're coming in live and there we are awesome awesome hi everyone this is Jisho and welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is August 1st 2021 and we're doing a liqueur live stream oops let me do this Doop. there we go awesome it's been a while since we did a liqueur stream actually and uh, here's our liqueur playlist on sensor tube uh, many of these videos are also on bitchute and um, they should also be on odyssey as well because we sync things up so you should be able to find them there as well um rumble i might have one video up on rumble i'm not 100 sure uh regarding the cures uh but slowly at some point we'll load everything on rumble as well uh but welcome welcome to another live stream yesterday we we're sitting here uh sipping a little bit of cognac and uh, smoking a little bit of cigar cuban cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well <laughs> your vacation uh, sounded fantastic your vacation sounded fantastic uh definitely something that uh, the grounding uh, to a degree except for the the animation <laughs> that looked hilarious i looked at the couple of one of the trailers anyway uh it was funny oh it was just what i needed yeah i could just imagine the nature and stuff so so cool so cool um, i haven't had a chance well i do a lot of nature as you can tell so nature is sort of embedded in uh, our society here uh, I've been swimming in the ocean a little bit or jumping in anyways freezing uh, on the coast west coast here on the island you go dip in to cool down and you come back out and get some sun so fun times fun times and it's warmer today the sun is out yesterday we had a little bit of drizzle it was really nice yesterday three and a half hour stream smoking a Cuban Bolivar um, Finos Paloroso Finos Torpedo and sipping cognac and munching on cheese and what else do we have cheese and stuff uh we're munching on i got some cheese and crackers and stuff here right now some lettuce we need some greens maybe when we're doing this little bit of sampling brought all the liqueurs out we're gonna go through them we're gonna see if we can consolidate a couple of these things so and sat, uh, sipped a little bit too much uh, uh cognac uh, yesterday I'm not used to drinking anymore, so when I drink, I actually feel it in my body. It's a, a little sluggish. I feel a little sluggish, slower than uh, usual. <laughs> Fun. Uh, aside from that, uh, while we wait for notifications to go off, for people to pop in, my intro, who I am my intro who i am mc mike how are we doing hi guys i love the garden patio stream so beautiful our guard our patio garden is coming along we got nine tomatoes nice five green peppers awesome six strawberries cilantro and three cucumbers nice cucumbers ours are coming in we've had a couple already so delicious man so delicious ding bobber chicho 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 back at it again with the liqueurs that's a lot of variety <laughs> hope you're not hung over for this i felt it really i'm not i'm not drinking very much as you know i've been stating so even the amount we drank yesterday i felt felt it in my body right enjoying the patios you'll be visiting later yeah yeah alaga strange it's opposite for me with alcohol that's because uh you're maintaining for me i haven't like that was the most stuff drank for a long time for a long time uh we're about to hit it up again so we're doing a uh, two days back to back <laughs> and i did go to a uh show last night open uh free sort of the city was putting on sort of a music thing happening uh so watched uh three djs playing uh three different sets fantastic it was uh uh the the propagandists would call it a what they call it a, a, when it's spreading things everywhere but there was a lot of people there it was like i don't know three four hundred people there for open open concert but people crammed together out of like four maybe four or five i don't know four or five hundred let's say uh i saw five people with a mask that was it everyone else was just letting loose 
felt good felt good you're gonna smoke a cigar with the no no cigar today three and a half three hour smoke yesterday was plenty it's good i'm tied over for a month maybe <laughs> two day ben shicho you'll be down for the count pace yourself yeah for sure ding bobber for sure uh what was it called the festival it was um uh, i don't know what it's called it's it's not is it a festival is a music event that the town is throwing and there's two shows today as well it's uh there's one at 2 p.m today and there's one at 7 p.m today where outdoor venues they set it up and the djs are playing it's uh oh i could get you the name uh, you know what eldegard remind me afterwards and i'll link it up on discord um one of the djs was her birthday yesterday so she was supposed to be playing ambient music but she let loose and people were just bopping dancing Ooh. girls on guys shoulders dance floor just packed right it was it was fun it was super fun people on the bridge standing watching the show in the in the sort of a grass area watching the show it was super good he's gonna bite the dog that bit him Ah, oh, that's what it's called when you hit it back up again with alcohol. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was Ding Bob, it was super good, man. It was super good. Uh, this is summertime, is for that, right? Outdoor music festivals and just dancing, letting loose, getting sun. That's what it should be. That's healthy, right? That's healthy. When centralized powers prevent people from doing that, uh, there's an agenda at play, right? There's an agenda at play. Not been to a festival since the 1990s. Oh, Elder God. There are some amazing festivals. Uh, or before all these lockdowns and stuff, there were some amazing festivals. I've been to a few. And uh, they're rejuvenating for me. Really, they're phenomenal. We need, we need, I need the motion. Uh, and the music being played, brother, it's phenomenal some of the stuff uh, the the producers are putting out live dj mixes yesterday uh, there was a one dj set it was uh, there two guys that they were live mixing and it was trippy it was dub but down tempo it was really good really good uh, for a summer afternoon and it drizzled a little not a little bit it was a little cloudy um, it was good it was super fun Dame Bobber, man, I'm playing in a coffee shop with a max capacity of 100 in about a month. Nice. I'm singing and playing guitar. My duo partner is playing the lead. Nice. Any advice for the nerves? Um, just, just know that people are there to have a good time and just have a good time with them, right? That being said, being nervous is not a bad thing, right? They hit me occasionally, uh, especially first thing in the morning. Yeah, nervousness is not a bad thing, man right it means you care and uh, it's important you want to do good you want to perform well um, it's okay to be nervous um, and just know that people are there to have a good time like if they're there to have a good time and you want to have a good time then odds of failure decrease right because everybody's there just to have a good time so just have a good time right don't force it just do what you need to do I haven't sung in front of an audience in years. Well, I hope you enjoy it, man. I hope you enjoy it. Elder <laughs> God says, imagine the audience naked. I've heard that before too, but uh, I personally, I don't know if I could. Uh, audience, and I don't like being in front, but I don't like being in front of audiences. If if you guys were sitting here right now, I'd be like going, damn. First of all, I'd be going, join me for drinks. And then I'd be going, it would be weird. Doing this is easier doing this is easier live uh, live streaming uh, for me anyway right it's my own environment and I don't have any naked people sitting around me <laughs> of fun oh yeah where's our intro intro I am on patreon if you want to follow the work it's probably the best place uh, to follow the work uh, we share everything there uh, load up everything there or uh, provide the links now the same way yeah Cheryl yeah, I was one of the ner most nervous speakers uh, in school. I didn't like it at all because it was forced down our throat, I guess. Uh, for those of you that want to follow this work, Patreon is a good way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's creative commons. Share, share, like. Okay. For those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much 
for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this uh, even though the liqueurs to a degree is related to mathematics but it's a few steps uh, distance right but basically everything's layered on mathematics that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat that's happening in front of our beautiful cannabis plants uh, twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you on twitch that are following subscribing liking commenting sharing just being here thank you for the support and mods thank you for being here works with speeches i used to do them often elder god it works with speeches imagining the audience naked okay ding bobber yeah man thanks i want to enjoy it i'm going to practice 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 yeah practice 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 and also visualize it going well in meditation awesome like imagining it uh could go badly is not the way to go no i'm gonna visualize myself where I'm, i'll be enjoying myself as i perform awesome awesome and practice 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 indeed be good at what you do right dumb stupid kid how are you doing that beer reminds me of reminds me of my honeymoon does it <laughs> i hope in a good way <laughs> beers on a honeymoon could be nice i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab parlor bitclout and 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 getter we're on there now as well okay that's <laughs> confusing me. you can follow the work there we do announce uh, what we are doing and what we are sharing and we do have a discord page you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want type an exclamation mark social and the first few links of those social platform platforms will be there and our discord link at the bottom there you're welcome to join us uh, on our discord server we have a fair bit of folders uh, a few different folders where people are sharing information freely uh, it's, a, it's a good place to be i am enjoying it for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do have visuals and i'm going to be moving around so i'm not recording this but we do record those on a lapel mic and upload them as audios on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chicho as a podcast so if you want to listen to these live streams some of them anyway as a podcast you can find them there and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes thank you for the follows by the way gang i've seen some follows pop up but i'm not catching them i'm trying to manage the chat and the and the intro and the, the things popping up it doesn't give me enough time once i notice it to read the names so thank you for the follows gang stupid dumb uh stupid dumb kid i smoked two cigars today and thought of you chicho awesome i hope they weren't gigantic cigars that'll give you a lightheadedness like there's no tomorrow how <laughs> the god got the joke he's laughing i i think i don't think i got the joke <laughs> Uh, we will be uploading this live stream unless the conversation takes us somewhere where we can't upload it to censor to but the full stream will go on bitchute rumble and odyssey uh during yesterday's live stream i did a little announcement saying you know this segment will be here and then uh, we continued with the live stream and then a question came up where we couldn't upload the the full live stream on sensor tube so only a segment of yesterday's live stream will be on sensor tube um, smoking a cigar in a patio and most likely the full live stream will go on uh, sensor tube and it will definitely be on bitchute rumble and odyssey and for those of you that are following this work supporting this work on those platforms gang thank you very much for the support i'm going to take these guys down and Cigarello. small cigars cigarello okay cool cool cigarellos can be super fun man really cigarellos can be super fun here's a wasp wasp is uh we might start getting some wasps coming in because uh the liqueurs are sweet right i like cigarellos uh, i used to smoke some of them and no inhale still no inhale okay think about chicho i got a strange message from someone on twitch just notice now quote 
We can't say anything for 10 minutes. Rip, end quote. I think this might have been a, in regards to the raid that took place. Possibly the newcomers couldn't talk for 10 minutes due to a setting. You, you, yeah, yeah. We set up that setting because we're getting uh, some trolls coming in, just random, randomizing it. Um, if this is the case, try and change it. We could change it to five minutes. Uh, I can't remember where we set it up. If you remind me uh, on uh, on Discord, I'll change the settings for the next stream. And my apologies to the newcomers uh, that came yesterday that they couldn't chat. Uh, I keep on forgetting that that thing's there. But it was basically for, for a period of time, we were getting a lot of, uh, I think a lot of people they were getting trolls and spammers and stuff coming in. It was just ridiculous, right? And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or, or, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. 3RDI. Is that a tomato plant behind you? How come no tomatoes? <laughs> Like tomato plants are yeah there's one over there actually yeah that one right there that's a tomato plant small one i got bigger ones over here in regards to this one yeah it's a beautiful plant not tomato though <laughs> it gives beautiful flowers medicinal <laughs> they are uh true i'll message you on discord awesome thank you thing bomber thank you Zayn Muhammad 345. Yay, how's it going? Lots of love right back. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Thank you. We're allowed to grow four plants in Canada. This is one of them. They should start flowering soon in the next couple of weeks, two, three weeks, right? And once they start flowering, I'm going to trim the leaves from the bottom and get all the energy popping up, right? Gang, should we start sampling some liqueurs? Should we start sampling some liqueurs? I'm gonna increase the text size of the chat because I'm gonna take off my glasses because I'll get dizzy if I zoom around with this. Motionless, yes. Let's start sampling some liqueurs. Delicious, delicious. Where do you get the seeds? Uh, my partner got the seeds, um, these ones. I forget where she got them from, just online. In Canada, you can buy them, right? So it's all good. Uh, minute ready started. One minute ready started. I'm gonna have to start uh, cleaning them up too. Yeah, yours has already started flowering. Wow, mine, uh, these ones haven't yet. They're getting ready. They're getting ready to start flowering. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think about it. considering there have been very little bot troll activity lately. Yeah, there haven't been really. Uh, I recommend making it maybe even one minute or nothing at all. And if the bot troll come back, yeah, we could make it like one, one minute, which is fine. Micro Tours, how are you doing? Chicholito, haha, <laughs> chat. How are you doing, kid? Gang, let's do the first one first. We saw this yesterday. Here is, uh, check this out. These are cherries we've been sampling. It's been delicious. These are a couple of cherry liqueurs that we made. Now it's gonna not gonna come out as bright so glare you won't see the will you see there you go these are from 2020 july 2020 okay and we put out a video we did the live stream and we put these together so this is where we're out with these guys okay so i'm going to consolidate these uh we're going to pop in the cherries they're super delicious okay so i'm just going to consolidate these two things because we made a new batch okay and this is let's see if you can see it july 2021 okay unfortunately last year we were able to make two but these were bought cherries these are i picked them myself so local cherries made liqueur and i tasted a little bit it's tastes not bad we'll do a little sample of it but let's consolidate these guys because what i do is usually just uh cleaning up the liqueur cabinet if uh, I have two or three of the same fruits, 
that we've made liqueurs, you put them into consolidate them if we're eating the fruits, right? And the fruit here, the cherries, are absolutely amazing. And that gives you more space to create more liqueurs, right? And freeze up the jars, of course. Let's put this down here. And should we pop a cherry? Oh, I popped a fair bit of cherries yesterday. Okay. So I'm just going to close this up. And most likely, I'm just going to put this not on the liqueur cabinet. I'm going to put this in the kitchen. And every now and then, we pop one of these cherries, and it's just, it feels good. It's delicious. Okay. Ah, oh, nice, Elder God. You fixed it up. But let's sample this this liqueur, okay, that we put together in July. So probably been three weeks, okay, and it, it's already tasting good. Okay, it's already tasting delicious. Now these things, as I open them up, they're, you know, they are sticky. So I got a little bit of wet napkin here that we're going to get rid of the sneak, uh, stickiness. Let's use one of this one. Okay. Let's start the day with a little bit of liqueur. Now I can't bring it too close to you guys and pour it close up because the computer is right there. But I'll show you the color of this thing. Now remember, this is about three weeks. How long does it take to convert to alcohol this is this is I poured alcohol so you're not converting the fruit to alcohol what uh, the way we make it is put fruit in put sugar in and then pour I use vodka you can use gin you can use anything right but I use I, I like using clear alcohol I use vodka you pour it in and you let it sit you shake it and the sugar sort of settles in the bottom and then you give it shakes like make sure it's closed you can do this to it right every couple of days put it on the windowsill in the sun let it get some heat so it dissolves the sugar and you're within three weeks two weeks the strawberries within two weeks are amazing delicious this is three weeks basically this is what we got right that's the color which is absolutely beautiful right and i tasted it like about well, four days ago and it was super good it's it's going to get better with time. Okay. Super delicious, man. Super delicious. MC Mike Chicho. I got uh, I got a cocktail drink my friend and I made at the beginning of the pandemic. We call it the COVID. <laughs> to make it, you need uh, uh, lemon, lemoncello, lemonade and either tonic or club soda is surprisingly good and refreshing especially in the summer nice nice anything lemon with soda is super good our lemon liqueur here with soda actually all the liqueurs with soda is super delicious this is super nice god hello how are you doing looks like a good time this is a good time and the the covid drink fc mike made sounds like a good time yeah 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 super good that's this is like 90 percent where it needs to be in flavor wise so that's the cherry taken care of and let me show you the other cherries that i have i have if you remember uh the oldest liqueur i have is the liqueur i got from my grandfather like 40 plus years ago right and he had made it like I don't know how many years before that, right? This is my grandpa's liqueur. Cherry seed grandpa special 10 out of 10, right? That's what I've written there, right? Doop. And what we did with this is I took the seeds and just added more vodka on it, right? So I'm going to taste this now. I can listen to you for days. <laughs> oh, the construction people are still going. This is like sealed. Let me do this. Yeah. 
I haven't sampled this for a while. Let's see, how is the construction? The people here, uh, they bought the house recently within the last few months, so they're doing renos on it. Ding bobber. Cheryl, you remember this one? Yeah. It smells very unique. Chicho, the mic licking dog yesterday seems to have been picked up by Twitch's algorithm. At the top of my recommendations, a girl licking two mics live as we speak. Are you serious? I don't watch that stuff. <laughs> Hilarious. You know what? I'm just gonna know. So this is the same glass we're gonna use for this. Nice. Let's close this up. Let me bring out napkin. I got a little glass bowl here too with water. So I'm just gonna wet napkins and just wipe these guys down a little, right? When you pour them, you get a little bit of liquor dripping. That way the whole glass doesn't get sticky, right? Thirteen point six thousand K viewers? <laughs> I'd be impressed. Check this one out. Check this one out. Check out how dark this is. This is like basically 40 year old liqueur with vodka added like when did we add the vodka we added the vodka i don't know 2020 2019 check out how dark that is right and this is cherry seeds okay this is cherry seeds Gang, if I could share this with you, I would. Okay. If there was a way, hopefully 10 years from now, 20, 50 years from now, you could plug in and some kind of virtual reality and have the taste buds come through. Okay. Have the taste buds come through. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I got the kitty cats here. Let me show you the kitty cat. This is phenomenal. I want to I want to savor this. This is Sal. They're like, "What you doing here, Chicho? What are these things?" He's a really good cat. Really. Yeah, look at all the activity here. Look at this. Look at all that. Wow. Wow. Off you go. You want to go in? Go on. Sal is an eater. He loves munching. He's constantly wanting food. Super delicious. Look at the resin. Not resin, but what do you call it? The syrupiness of it, right? on the glass amazing really amazing chicho leaving secret location in bc i'll drive from ontario to grab it <laughs> awesome we're not going to do anything with this by the way today we're not adding any sugar or vodka to anything we're just sampling okay and i'm going to feel the jars if they're sticky i'm going to give them white they're not sticky i'm going to leave them alone so this is really just a maintenance check on the liqueur. Are your cats good hunters? They are. They are crazy. I, they're, they're indoor cats, but I set up the patio in a way that they don't, they're not escaping, right? And they're so happy on this patio. I've set, up, set it up in a way there's a lot of nooks and crannies and stuff like this. And there's lots of bugs and stuff flying around. Via uh, a couple of weeks ago, he caught a bee he's caught a few not bee but wasp he's caught a few wasps 
and uh, the one wasp that he caught, he tried to eat it, and the wasp bit his tongue. He was not happy. He was flipping around. Ba boom, boom, boom. I was like, oh, what's going on? He was, he, he was in pain for about uh, an hour, half an hour, and then he, it sorted itself out. It sorted itself out. Here's the other jar of Grandpa's special, right? There's two of them. And then there is another one that we have that's a paste in the fridge. Okay, it's more like a paste. Um, that one, I'm just every now and then grabbing a spoon and eating it. Okay, like it's a paste, right? Check out this one. This should be taste the same, but we're gonna sample it again. Maintenance check, I know Alter God must be done. <laughs> Nubble, nubble, nubble tongue. My cat does catch and release. He catches uh, critters and releases them on me while I sleep. <laughs> Damn. No, our cats don't do that. I thank God. Hold on, let me lock this in. Get this a little wet. Not sticky, so it's good. Check this out. Same sort of the color to it. Right. Wow, it tastes a little different. It tastes a little different, right? Super delicious, super delicious. That's really nice. That was really good. That was very syrupy. Let's do, so that's our cherry related liqueurs, okay. While we're doing cherries, let's do. Uh... Oh, here's another cherry one we got. This is 2018. Check this out. This one, 2018. Nine out of ten, I gave it. One cup sugar. Uh, half twenty, half a twenty-six of vodka went in here. All right. So let's sample this as well. You're gonna make some. Uh, chocolate with it uh you know what not chocolate but we've had it with ice cream uh super delicious with ice cream the liqueurs the uh especially the paste one and the uh my grandfather's liqueurs that's really syrupy with ice cream every now and then we pour the liqueur on top of it and it's super good super good chocolate ice cream or vanilla okay chocolate is really good okay we're gonna sample this as well. Joe, we've got a four year old male cat with a cat flap in the kitchen. Okay, so it goes in and out. This summer he's been bringing in critters every night. Oh no, mice, birds, rats, even a few bats. Oh my God. The worst thing is he's brought in um, was a two foot rat. Oh. And a squirrel thankful both were already yeah i met um, i saw someone once where he was buying uh, mouse traps and he goes yeah our cat went and grabbed the mouse brought it back and released the mouse in the house right didn't kill the mouse released it in the house <laughs> it's like damn i'm gonna use uh i'm gonna use a uh, new glass for this okay the other one is very syrupy so the flavor will get mixed with this I could wash this for hours. So fascinating, fun, splash, fun for me too. Let's pour this. Oh, I better make these smaller. We got a lot to go through. Wow, wow, wow. This one smells very vodka. -y. Okay. Take a look at the color. 
right? Let's see if it'll focus. There you go. Right. So it's not syrupy at all. Very uh, much, tra much more translucent. Stronger, that's for sure. Uh, very good, very good. I wouldn't touch this. I would kick this up from a nine out of ten to a ten out of ten. Super delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the little bit of the burning. Sal went and did some, ate some food and came back out again. Oh wow, lots of chat gang. I'm scrolling down to see if there's anything directed towards me, okay. Uh, R3, 3 RD. What's the old, uh, oldest batch you've had and do they ever go bad? They've never gone bad. The oldest batch is 40 plus years. Uh, if not, when you say your grandfather liqueur, that means they never go bad. They never go bad. Because what we do is when the liqueur goes down, the liquid, you just pour more vodka and vodka is a preservative. And if you need the sweetness to go up, you put sugar and sugar is a preservative. So it doesn't go bad. You can eat the fruits as well. I eat the fruits as you, as you, as you know, right? On Charter Days, how we doing? Hey, Chicho. Hope you and Chad are having a great day. So far, so good, brother. So far, so good. Patrick Timsit. I don't know what that is. Think about Chicho. About that mass mouse story. One of our cats did that that very thing, except multiple times. Oh no! Bringing in barely injured or fine mice into the house, to the point where they started a family, and poo oh no, pooping everywhere. Had to set up traps. Boys. Oh man, no no no, that's not good. You gotta sterilize things. You don't want to be living in a place where there's mouse poops. Uh, bad, very bad, or rat poops. Uh, very dirty. How many samples? Till you get buzzed um, considering yesterday <laughs> probably already <laughs> salute gang but not yet but not yet and the time frame matters right so basically we have five bottles jars of cherries right five jars of cherries and you should have water with you when you're doing this or tea I got both okay what are we hitting up next autumn olive let's do this one I don't think this is very sweet this is autumn olive we made this one when did we make this one 2018 we made autumn olive okay it's really nice very unique very unique <laughs> here let me do this just give the shot glass little rinse right I've lost count of how many mice our cat has brought in alive and then let loose oh man this is a bad story we had another cat that was uh outdoor cat but he never brought in mice he passed away a couple of years ago three years ago now i guess but he never brought in out mice and release uh you'll then hear them the next uh, day moving around in the walls oh man that is not nice this is strong I'm gonna pour a little less now because we're just sampling, right? We're just sampling. Very clear. It's too clear. Bonjour, cyanide for dinner. How are we doing? 
Your cat exploded. Very unique. Very unique. Very yummy. Wouldn't touch this. So far, I wouldn't touch any of these. Like, add sugar or vodka to any of them. And they're not sticky. Ooh, they're not sticky, so we're going to leave them alone. Nice. Bats. Bats fly low as well, right? Because they're looking for the bugs. So that's probably when they get them. What should we sample next? What's this one? Plum. This is very syrupy. This is more for ice cream. Okay. Uh, good for dessert ice cream. That's what I wrote down. 10 out of 10. And it is. It's very good for dessert ice cream. Okay. So this is the plum. And gang, thank you very much for the follows. Timo Tom to me. So this is, we're not going to bother sampling this. This is, it's, it's like a uh, paste plum alcohol taste. It's good with ice cream, good with cake, right? Sir, you look like a cool dude. Oh, thanks. It's the goatee. Here's another plum. This one is more the liqueur. Check it out. Okay. And it's sort of got the disintegrating plums in the bottom and once you hit that you can mix it in with the desserts but let's sample this one chicho din Bobber says i watched the socialist explain on youtube that cats can hear bat noise oh wow really echolocation and wait outside the ca bat cave to swipe intense intense cats are killers man cats are ruthless really cats are really ruthless they're uh, once living with cats i realized how crazily ruthless they are this is the plum check it out that's plenty Very little, very little. Super delicious. And I gave this one a 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. And we've got the little plums in here too. I'm not gonna sample the plum right now. Should I? Mm, no, we're gonna leave the plum alone. So super delicious. What else we got what's this guy oh these are grapes we made last year from these grapes check this out these are our grapes right i don't know if you see these they're not ripe yet so once they ripen i'm gonna make more of these this is the unripened grapes right very sour very tart amazing for cooking amazing for cooking Thanks, Ding Bobber, taking care of business. I don't know the names, Ding Bobber. Sent it to me by accident. Uh, this da, 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 da guy has a message for. No, the name doesn't ring a bell. Does it? Does the name ring a bell to you guys? He's my friend. What happened? Oh, is he a friend? Okay, never mind. Okay, good stuff. All taken care of. We need to add more vodka to this. Let me give this a little rinse. sample a couple of the grapes here I got some spoons here so 
check out the grapes. I don't know if it'll focus. super good I haven't had the grapes for a long time for months that's super delicious hmm let's sample the liqueur the liqueur was amazing we're gonna make more of these this year when the grapes ripen this wasn't enough as you can tell yeah absolutely phenomenal Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So good, so good. Very delicious. 10 out of 10. Gave it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So from a year ago. Apologies if I'm not keeping up with the chat, gang. I'm gonna pour water in this and give it a rinse. Actually, no, we got enough glasses here. We should be able to manage. Let's check it out. Let's do a little sip. We'll take tea. Check it out. Blueberry. I got two blueberries. 2020 2018 check it out this is 2020 this is 2018 2020 2018 okay see the difference in color right. i think we've gone through a couple of iterations for the uh, 2018 one so let's sample both Oh, 2018. Tough to open up. <laughs> Let me put this. Actually, let's open this one up. Oh, so easy. So easy. Let's sample the 2021 then. The 2018 I haven't sampled for a long time. Let's do this. Let's do this in one of these guys. I like these shot glasses. Oh, smells amazing. How are you doing? Salute. Strong. This is liqueur, blueberry liqueur. Very nice. Let's eat a couple of the blueberries and see where we're at. Actually, let's pop one of the blueberries. Mm. Strong. And it was a new spoon, eh? Never double dip. If you put it in your mouth. Strong. Strong. Yeah, you can... This is liqueurs that we made ourselves, right? Basically, fruit, sugar, vodka. 
we got videos on there uh, where we've actually made these strong you can see the playlist here this is the our liqueur playlist on sensor 2 so 10 out of 10 strong strong I want to put strong on here uh, the wasps are coming strong I'm gonna put the strong in green that way I know right. it's good to know sort of label your liqueurs to a certain degree right just a little strong in different color that way it stands out now we gotta try to open this guy up let's check it out what's the oldest you try uh, from like 1980s I got we sampled some about half an hour ago liqueurs from the 1980s super good oh this is gonna be strong as well I want to use the same glass because it's blueberries liqueurs that my grandfather passed on to me very little I know this is going to be very strong fair look how clear that is right so these guys their essence is almost done okay <laughs> thanks cyanide for dinner fantastic green here in the house kick and a half we're gonna have to start eating the blueberries in this okay because their essence is has been used up very nice very good give my hands a little wet wipe <clears throat> this greener right here this guy deformed a little bit they still smell nice it's weird hey friend how are you lark bark how are you doing doing well here thank you very much greenery greenery is a good thing what's this guy crab apple look at this guy crab apples that we picked from 2018 9.5 out of 10 initially it was a 9 make crab apple butter we've got a crab apple playlist on sensor 2 where we make crab apple butter it's so good crab apple is amazing let's do crab apple let's use the orange for the crab apple Canada's flag has maple leaf uh, depends which version you look at it some people put the cannabis leaf on it nice color to this wow it matches the matches the glass look at that nice flavor very nice flavor delicious flavor again very unique nice let me give this guy a rinse
water. Drink your water. <coughs> sea buckthorn. This is from like I don't know how many years ago now. Six years ago, maybe. Seven years ago, maybe. This is like this candy. <laughs> uh, auto mod zap you, brother. We'll keep the zap on. This is strong. This is medicinal. This is amazing. Okay. Uh, sea buckthorn. Look it up. Sea buckthorn is very medicinal. And this is sea buckthorn that we harvested from a garden here. Okay. Very unique. Very unique. Very pungent. And very strong flavor. Very strong flavor. Very strong flavor. Peanut butter pumpkin party. You mean to tell me that none of my oldest favorite YouTube videos of Chicho sampling liqueur is happening live right now? <laughs> the old the older ones no, but this one is live. <laughs> very much the same color as uh, the glass as well right very cool very strong very strong Sea buckthorn itself is very strong flavor, very pungent. It's supposed to be really good for the tummy. It's got amazing oils in it. Like it's very medicinal. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know about it until we saw the the bush, really. Uh, and it was just full of sea buckthorns. And uh, we ended up picking it and it was very pungent. So we looked it up and it was very medicinal. We froze some, we ate some. Uh, we made some tinctures with some of it and made liqueur with a bunch of it. Are any of these non-alcoholic? Um, I would say the one, well, no, they're all alcoholic, but I would say the ones that are the oldest have the least amount of alcohol uh, if we haven't topped them up again. Okay. If we haven't topped them up again. Very strong flavor. Let's give the glass another rinse. Gets me drinking more water. Cheryl, I have found a few recipes for non-alcoholic syrups and shrubs. Cool. Similar enough, but without the kick. Similar enough without the kick. Yeah, the alcohol gives it a, a serious kick. Apricot. This thing is super delicious, as you can tell. We made this in 2020. You would have seen most of the, a lot of these as videos, right? So, and I think I'll eat one of the apricots. Let's sample this guy. This guy needs topping up at some point uh, this year. Oh, this is going to be. Here, let's do it this way so the fruit doesn't fall down and splash us. This is so clear. Look at this. It's a little cloudy as well from the apricot. Yeah. Do I drink tap water? I do if I have to, but in general, no. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of chlorine and stuff in it, so I like it filtered. Quince. No, I haven't made quince yet, but quince is amazing as jam. I love quince jam and quince uh, there's a quince uh, stew that we make as well which is super delicious salute gang oh wow that is so nice this doesn't have a kick oh that is super delicious that is super delicious I'm gonna pop one of the apricots 
take a look. No kick. Very yummy. Very yummy. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Oh, the Elder God, free Assange and free Daniel Hale. I got some cheese and nuts here. If you're drinking, cheese and nuts is pretty good, right? And some crackers. I'm gonna pop a cheese right now. Eat a little food with the alcohol is good. And munch on a little cracker. Let's bring a fresh glass. Let's do pomegranates. Pomegranates. Almonds, yeah. I have some almonds here too. Almonds and uh, what do you call it? Uh, these guys. I forget what these guys are. Uh, the round guys. Um, I forgot their name. Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. I'm just going to put the sticky on here. There's pomegranates, 2020 October. Macadamia is delicious too, but I don't have any macadamia right now. Macadamia nights are so nice. Quince is pretty strong, but it has uh, no kick to it. I love it. Yeah, Quince is a phenomenal, phenomenal fruit. We have some Quince trees in the neighborhood. And um, I picked one year. I missed the last few years, last couple of years. Walnuts are amazing. Love walnuts. My heavens, what's happening in your neighborhood? Oh, there's a hospital uh, that my partner works at, like uh, pretty close to us, like a couple of, not even a couple of clicks, right? So. Um, ambulance sirens you hear but there's a lot <laughs> as elder god posted in our discord uh sundays is when a lot of people get killed right so maybe there's a lot of killing going on right now i hope not we got a pomegranate seed that popped in there too check it out a little pomegranate seed in there floating Yeah, amazing colors. Like that's one of the beautiful things about the liqueurs. They have amazing colors. Oh, beautiful. No kick, no kick. Or an epic car chase with the police. Hmm, so good, so good. pomegranate seed got stuck mm, that is really good no kick at all like really I should put no kicks on some of these hi everyone crazy bro Athens how are you doing hope you're all doing good fine doing fantastic doing better and better with every sample <laughs> I can know the hey Chicho, did you see the Olympic Games? What is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport would be soccer, uh, football. Uh, but I'm not watching the Olympics. Here's another pomegranate. Okay, let's sample this as well from same time, 
October uh, 2020. I used to love gymnastics, swimming, weightlifting. Man, weightlifting is phenomenal. Boxing. Like, there's so much, but I'm not watching them right now. Do you like warm liqueur though, Chicho? Warm up. I haven't had warm liqueur really. Kitty cat wanted in. What's your favorite uh, sport you're watching? I used to watch uh, boxing a fair bit. I used to watch a lot of different Olympic sports. But I don't anymore. Same color. Should be around the same taste. That's super delicious. No kick whatsoever. The jars have been pretty good. Not sticky at all. I haven't had to wipe anything now. What's this guy? Oh, here's a... Uh, oh, no, we already sampled this guy. This is the pomegranate. Oh, this is the raspberry. we got to make more raspberry this year. Raspberry is amazing. I watch tennis and uh, basketball the most. Tennis and basketball, wow, wow, cool, cool. Tennis I used to watch a lot. Basketball, I, I've gone to a couple of games when the Grizzlies were in Vancouver. Um, but I haven't been into basketball too much. What a what a sport though! What a sport! Like, really, takes huge stamina, and serious ankles and and knees. The stopping and the thing. Oh, what's up? I've been totally removed from it. How's basketball going? Volleyball is amazing too. Olympic gymnastics amazes me. Yeah, unfortunately, their bodies deteriorate really fast. Like um, all those gymnasts that you see in the Olympics and any place that you see any any kids that are doing gymnastics on a huge, serious professional level and a a lot, they pay for it as they get older. And not, I'm not talking like in their 60s or 70s. They start paying the price for putting their bodies through that much stress in their 20s and they have to live with it with a lot of pain so you know i'm a sort of on the sidelines once i realized that it took away from the appreciate apologies for sharing this took away from the appreciation of um, what that is all right um, they pay the price that was just water just for those small moments yeah they destroy their bodies I can know I'm from Spain and I watch uh, your videos for learn speak English ah also <laughs> you're learning you're you're learning happy English <laughs> apricot oh, another apricot nice I gotta put the apricots together I'm gonna move these guys over You got two apricots. Take a look at this one. This is on the same level as the other one. Made at the same time, 2020. Pomegranate English. <laughs> Let's sample this apricot as well. Should be just as nice. No kick to it. Very clear, very clear, right? Phenomenal. If I was going to introduce someone to a liqueur that is not going to uh, is not going to overwhelm them, it would be this one, because there's no kick. It just tastes like tangy um, apricots very nice very nice let's put this guy there let's do strawberry strawberry is phenomenal we got two big 
things of strawberries here. Strawberry from 2020. Okay. Strawberry from 2020. <laughs> we went crazy with the strawberries when we were drinking them, yeah. It was super good. Do you feel warm yet, Chicho? Uh, uh, that would be nice in the winter. Nice in the winter, indeed. Let's sample this one first. Let me show you the strawberries as well. New fork. New fork. I'm gonna pop a strawberry. And I'm gonna pull... I'll hold this under. Take a look. Here's a strawberry. It's gonna be strong flavor. It smells amazing. What a kick. Whoa. What a kick. A serious kick. Slick mick. What is a liqueur really? Is it fruit juice combined or extracted and then added to say a spirit? Sorry if it's a silly question. And what kind of alcohol uh, strength are they? Uh, for me, uh, I haven't looked up the you know the official definition of liqueur but to me liqueur is infused spirit right so for us we're using um, vodka so it's and it doesn't I don't think it has to be fruit it could be herbs as well so for the way I'm looking at it it's just infused flavored spirit uh, that we've made let's try the strawberry Sven, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Hope you had a great day so far. Fantastic. This is this is too big right now to to pour. Take a look. Strawberry. My pleasure, Slick Mac. That's my understanding of it. I could be wrong officially. Wow. That is phenomenal. Super delicious. Hey, kitty cat, you want it? Or you want it? That is really good. That is really good. Let me put this here. I'm going to take this one away and we're going to sample this one. Courtney Cox, Courtney Cox. <laughs> Damn. One year uh, of preserving that got to be strong. It's it's not bad. It's not as strong as you would think, right? There are some that are crazy strong. Let's do this one. We can double dip this because it's the same liqueur. Should be about the same flavor. Okay, should be about the same. Oh, look at this, look at this. I just noticed this. Oh, this needs to change. Interesting, interesting. What you doing, Sal? No, you can't go to the lettuce. Look at this. The bottom of this is rusted. There's a nail that's rusted there. So I'm not going to put this top back on. And tell you the truth. I don't know. I might even junk this whole thing just because that part is rusted, right? You don't want to drink rusted alcohol. Tastes amazing, but I'm not gonna drink this until I look that up, right? Slick Mick, this is what I got from DuckDuckGo. A liqueur is an alcohol drink composed of distilled spirits and additional flavoring such as sugar, fruits, herbs, and spices. Okay, cool. So our definition is correct. Stagmo, well, we're not distilling it. It's uh, 
infusing it, I guess. Yeah, you should be careful with metals. Yeah, yeah. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to be junking this whole thing. That is unfortunate. This is the first time I've used this jar. Let me check out this jar. So, lesson learned. Yeah, no, this is okay. And all the other ones are okay. They're not rusty. So, this is the first time I'm seeing this. Pouring it back. Junking this. Oh, unfortunate. It tastes amazing. Tastes amazing. Right. Tastes amazing. But we got damage. Right? So, did the liquor come into contact with the rust? Ah, uh, you know what? This is on top of it. So, if there is drip, then it would have dripped down, right? Because if I touch it, take a look. No. Yeah, see? A little bit of staining. So, over time, it might have dripped into the liqueur. It wouldn't be that much, but why bother, right? There could be small debris. There could be small debris. It's some men. Hope you're all doing well. Yeah. Thank you. This is not a liqueur jar, so we won't be using this again. And look at all this. That's unfortunate. And it's a 10 out of 10 we gave it. Look at that. 10 out of 10. Oh, look at that. So unfortunate. Better safe than sorry, Chicho. Better safe than sorry, indeed. So, this guy's being junked. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Good thing. Good thing we got another gigantic one. <laughs> and this is, there's no rust inside. Yeah, there's no rust. The plastic lids at Walmart for mason jars is a leak proof lid. But uh, yeah, moisture from outside source might be part of it. And uh, moisture from the fruits as well, right? Because there's fruits in this happy compost <laughs> so that guy's got to get John oh that's unfortunate that's the biggest uh, jar I've ever junk I don't think I've ever junked anything but liqueur wise and munching on lettuce is good too here's a bowl of lettuce one of the best snacks you can have yeah what a shame Spend what a shame! I will drink it all the gas, but I'm a T T eight hundred. One of the best snacks you can do: lettuce. Throw it in a chunk of cheese, and munch on it. Very delicious. Let's pop another one. Let's pop another one. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be com composting um, because it's alcohol, right? Well, you know what? No, I think we will compost it because we can just put it in the city compost and it'll dilute the compost. It's okay. It should be fine. Uh, the alcohol, I don't think will do good to the compost, but it's it'll evaporate. So over time, we'll just evaporate, just become compost, as far as I, I'm thinking anyway. And just don't let us thanks, Elder God says. So we sampled all the liqueurs on the table here. Let's hit the liqueurs back here. There's a whole bunch there. Now we have a lot of blackberry. A lot of blackberry. Okay. At some point I have to consolidate or get rid of some of those. So here's a couple of recent blackberries. I'm going to keep the recent. So we'll sample the recent. I'll go through the older stuff and see what I want to keep. Okay. Lettuce infused alcohol. Deep flake. I suppose old fruit in all composts. Uh, will have alcohol 
as it decomposes from mass yeah probably actually kill alcohol oh damn that dark red let's do blackberry blackberry is amazing one of the first liqueurs i ever started making and uh, we'll continue to make it super delicious the smell is nice it's just you can't go wrong with blackberry tomato alcohol I've never tried I'm not sure what it tastes like uh, you want it? what's the scoop? you want to go inside? You want to go to your hiding place. Let's do blackberry. Let's do blackberry. <laughs> Look at that deliciousness. We got a little blackberry bit come out of that. nice color nice color i've never tried mango either oh, it's like heaven really i really like blackberry <laughs> i kind of envy you so much <laughs> you can start your own liqueur cabinet after a few years you're gonna just go crazy you could you could a lot of these are just from 2020 by the way so start making them within a few months i mean we're in the summer it's a great time to buy fresh fruit right 30 by the way i passed out uh with my headphones on for a second and had a dream about drinking some <laughs> taste version 2021 <laughs> nice so that's the way it is that's the way it works and that was really good the black bear is super good oh you want in okay come on come on you too come on here i got so much stuff laid out here they're trying to make their way through it We bought them new toys. A couple of toys came in. I'm gonna we're gonna make kitty cat toys, by the way. Uh, got a couple of toys that they really liked. The one toy they destroyed within the hour, just annihilated it. It was like a little tentacle, leather tentacly thing. King Cat alive! How are you doing? Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Greetings, Chicho. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> look at this this one i didn't pour a little because i really like the blackberry this one i poured a lot super nice super nice like heaven that's like heaven so good so good let the flavor sink in black seeded grapes i think so uh, black grapes are supposed to be really good white grapes uh, they don't have as uh, as many benefits I believe as black grapes uh, ours are white grapes but they taste fantastic this is super nice can oh yeah that was really good it's got a tanginess to it which is just phenomenal Dragon fruit I haven't used. 
Um, but I've heard it could be good. I used, uh, we've got one here that's... Uh, we got kiwi and mandarin mixed in together. It wasn't, I didn't like the flavor at first. So this is kiwi and mandarin. Okay. You can see the kiwi seeds there. It's, you can't miss it, right? So let's try the kiwi mandarin. Hi, Slick, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hi, do you smoke ganja? Cannabis? Cannabis. 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 <clears throat> Cannabis. Cannabis. I do grow it. I do grow cannabis. <laughs> do the white and the pink dragon fruit taste the same? I don't know. Dragon fruit, um, if I remember correctly, you need it to be really ripe. When it's not really ripe, it doesn't taste that good. You need dragon fruit to be really ripe. Is dragon fruit dragon fruit is the white one, right? Red or pinkish outside and white on the inside. When do you uh, get a smoke uh, sesh or shroom shesh? Smooth sesh. Smoke sesh? I don't know what sesh is. Oh, smoke session or a shroom session. Ha ha ha. Uh, well, 420, April 20th, we have a celebration usually. We've done it like, I think, three years in a row. So on 420, we do uh, we do, do sessions. Uh, as for fungi, not legal, so no do. I'm not going to eat the fruit. But I'm going to taste it. Here's the color. Just clear, right? You can mix decar decarbed cannabis with Everclear and make green dragon tincture. Green dragon tincture, okay. I've, we've never done with the, uh, alcohol. Have you done it with alcohol? I can't remember. We've done with oils though. You can do it with oils. Uh, stag. There's one that is pink inside too. I just ate uh, the white one. Tasted like a pear to me. Did it? Okay. It must have been ripe then. Pretty good, pretty good. Still not my favorite. Okay, would I do again mandarin and grapefruit? I don't know. I don't know. Mandarin uh, and uh, kiwi. Sorry, I don't know if I would or not. April is a little too far. <laughs> Alcohol 50% or above works. 50%. Yeah, 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 yeah. For tinctures and stuff, yeah. Uh, what is 180 proof, which is 90%. It's like crazy. We have one. We did it with sea buckthorn, but we haven't done it with cannabis. Um, cannabis, I, I just like vape, vaping better. Deep flake. Um, I've I've done much of what you said, right? And slowly you figure out that um, you can change um, the way you experience life and ex interact with life, right? To a degree, you have to pay your dues. You have to you. You can only improve your life by experiencing life and you can't experience everything everything you do can't be amazing right so you go through periods where you uh, make mistakes uh, work in dead-end jobs 
uh, put your heart and soul into something that doesn't pay off and stuff like this and slowly you learn to filter out the BS in your life and slowly over time when you filter out the BS in your life what you're left with is amazing things right that's what I've done to a certain degree okay 30 hey for even crazier idea five gallon bucket dry ice hash then make your green dragon tincture we're not going to sample any more blackberry but let's sample some of the other stuff we got you try the interesting mixture at the kinnick i don't know what that is elegal quote it's only after you have lost everything that you're free to do anything yeah really when you realize the value in your life the worth in your life is who you are really uh, it's not the materials menthol and licorice liqueur wow arcanic don't know that but i do like licorice i should make a licorice liqueur Oof, that would be super good orange the orange i wasn't too pleased with it was a really delicious orange but the out the liqueur version didn't come out that nice arsenic arsenic <laughs> no you don't want arsenic it smells amazing like orangey maybe i should have taken the seeds out of the orange because the seeds gave it a bitter taste to it right oh look at this <laughs> the ants have made their way towards the liqueur they're like oh look at this sweetness let's have a taste of that Oof, so strong so strong no you can't post a link to chat um you have to be a mod or me that posts a link but you can post a link on our discord Mm, too strong too strong so let's try the liqueur how are the ants doing oh, yeah, the ants love the let's do this one love the orange come on let's try it maybe the orange has calm down a little bit look at this <laughs> hilarious let's close it up so the ants don't get in there Hakul Dada what do you think of some of those vacuum juicers and uh, storage containers um, I don't know I really haven't used them so this is the orange It's good but it's very it's it's not blending well it's not mixing well with the alcohol so i wouldn't do the orange again okay looks amazing really it looks amazing but maybe i would do it again but taking the seeds out okay Look at, this, look at these ants. Come on. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Here's a tip. If you have... Uh, if you have a garden, when you see ants, it means you probably have pests somewhere. So I'm going to check the plants. Or they're at the beginning stage of getting pests. Are they going to undergo fermentation too? No, they won't be fermenting. You want out? Come on. Nice. 
ants, right? Go eat the ants. Go eat the ants. That's Sal. Deep flake, I totally agree. However, the banality of example landlords, like I'm, we're renting, right? But we, you know, we found good landlords and they understood who we were. And landlords are in desperate need of good tenants, right? So if you're a good tenant, um, then if the landlord has half a brain, they'll do everything they can to keep you there. Okay. Landlord redundancies and meaningless employment. Shared houses example. Seems often surmountable when you think of it logically as uh, finding an escape. In principle, I agree with the attitude. I, I, I agree. Sometimes it's, you get into a hole, it's hard to come out of, right? And that has a lot to do with our current economic system, right? It's garbage. It's made, made to make people make us into serfs, right? Um, you have to work around that. Investing is one way to work around that. Uh, flying under the radar is one way to work around that. Um, working in your community, building connections is one way to work around that. Uh, but I've had roommates before and stuff like that. And a while ago, I decided I would rather live in a smaller space than live in a bigger space with roommates unless they were 100% on the ball, right? It's a, it's a slow transition, brother. It's a slow transition. Posted a link to look here in general. Thank you, Shaggy. We're gonna fucking rich and build a ranch. Ah, that has its problems too. Right? Bakudada. What is your view on the Brighton platform? I I created an account there, but I couldn't interact with it. It was too difficult. It was it was problematic. So and it was the mindset I was in. So I didn't. I'm not. I'm not uploading anything to Brighton. Motionless poetry. My landlord kicked me out of my apartment because she sold the house, and it was in the middle of the pandemic in 2020. Crazy, crazy. And people like that, I, I pity the, those people that the only thing they care about is profit right they don't they've lost their humanity right that's the way i look at people who only chase money right they only do things uh for the monetary gain of it not for the humanity of it right they in the end uh, they they don't have a great life in the end uh, most of those people will regret their lives so i pity them I pity them. Okay. Uh, you know what? Since we were going at this the stream for a while, we'll stay off the uh, Bakudada. We'll stay off the the topic, the question you're asking. Okay. Uh, just because I don't want to cut the stream early, so that we can load it on to sensor tube like we're loading on videos to sensor tube which is youtube sensor tube bit shoot rumble and odyssey right so if we get into discussions earlier on where it's not permitted to talk about those things or for people that are only watching videos on sensor to to be exposed to certain type of information that the technocrats do not want them to learn uh then we just give it a little notice from now on and we say okay the rest of the stream you can find in the link in the description below on bitshoot rumble and odyssey but since we're towards the end of this maybe we'll stay off that topic for now um, but we did talk about it yesterday during our patio cigar smoking stream and when the question came up i just made a little note saying if you were watching this on sensor tube the rest of the live stream will be on bitchu rumble and odyssey because this discussion is not allowed on sensor tube okay so if you look at the previous video on uh, twitch it'll be up for two weeks um and i'll probably have it up in bitchu rumble and odyssey in the next week or 10 days or so okay 
uh, I've made myself pretty clear on how I stand on that your question and you can go to our discord page uh, in the heavy topics and there is a folder specifically dedicated to this topic and we've been sharing a lot of information I highly recommend those who want to know what the hell's going on to go on there okay I hope that's a good enough answer damn sorry to hear that Graham hope you found uh, somewhere nicer yeah it's unfortunate it's getting getting evicted uh, for just because of our economic system the way it's set up cornelian cherries cornelian cherries from 2020 i picked these from a local tree that we found and this is amazing cornelian cherries okay i'm scrolling all the way gang there was a lot of chat so i missed a whole bunch okay Thirty, chicho just want to say glad uh to find your stream you taught me a lot when i'm here and even now still feels like asmr super peaceful lava <laughs> really awesome i'm glad you're enjoying it just sharing as much as we can right has to be done um, otherwise we're all lost cornelian cherries are amazing cornelian cherries do you take any specific immunity shrooms any specific immunity shrooms uh there's mushrooms are there's a lot of like shiitakes are amazing there are uh other types of psilocybin mushrooms that are available readily Oop. drip 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 available readily uh, in the western world uh, so but I believe food is medicine. Food is can heal you. And it's not for everyone. Like strawberries are amazing, right? But strawberries kill some people, right? They're allergic to it. So they can't eat strawberries. So to each their own, right? To each their own. Cornelian cherries. Very good, tangy. She, you're asking me if I've uh, willingly participated, uh, gave my body to be experimented on? No, absolutely not. Not by pharmaceutical companies. Not a good idea, as far as I'm concerned. Very good. this one is going to be the same so we'll hold off on this pineapple look at this pineapple we made this one together rishi yeah re, re, uh, re, rishi mushrooms are amazing chaga uh, from and there's uh what's that mushroom you make tea with it's the mushroom's really hard. It's like uh, bark, and you cut it off. What's it called? Uh, it's amazing tea. Very medicinal. Very medicinal. Yeah, I haven't been tested either, and don't plan on being. Right, the pomegranate, uh, not pomegranate, P 
pineapple amazing liqueur amazing liqueur and gang before we sample this don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censortube I'm gonna give this one a. Actually, let's put this one down. Let's use a new glass. Okay. And that's Papa. <laughs> the wasps were coming by. Pineapple? Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. That is so strong. That's the strongest fruit yet. Wow, wow, wow. What a kick. What a kick. Lettuce and cheese. Cyanide for dinner. So when 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 one liqueur is finished, do you refill it, or will will it become diluted? If you do that, no, I do refill. I top these up with sugar if need be and vodka or just with vodka straight until the essence of the fruit is gone and then you junk it right sometimes the lower essence just gives it a more um gentler uh, flavor right it's not as dominant but like a jar of fruit I'll go through at least three iterations of finishing the liqueur, doing again, finishing the liqueur, doing again, at least three. Okay. Perfume, no. Have you tried taking or adding any Ormus elements? I don't know what Ormus is. Lion's Mane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lion's Mane is amazing. Uh, shroom liqueur would be interesting. Lies main would be interesting. Hey, eh? liqueur, maybe. Oh, strong. This is the second iteration of this pineapple, by the way. Nice pineapple flavor, strong flavor, but the fruit has the kick to it. Wow. Wow. Laugh out loud box. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What up, what up, gang? Glad to catch a stream. Meta Dragon, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yummy. What else we got? Oh, I've got another crab apple here. Or did we try the crab apple already? <laughs> oh. Check this out. Two grab crab apples. We already tried this. This is going to be the same. So we're going to leave it alone. Here, we'll do this. Put these guys together here. Put this guy here. Let's do this. Check these out. Elderberry. These are the elderberry liqueurs, super delicious. Chime light, chime light? Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub, appreciate it. Chime 3M light, chime 3M light. Is that how am I pronouncing that? Should I pronounce that that way? I don't know. 
But thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh oh, the liqueur kicking in. He forgot. Uh, z <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> that uh, trying to catch up with the chat. It's uh, trying to focus on the on the letters too. Let's put that one in. I had the 3M White Dove Ormus from Ocean Alchemy. I don't know what that is. It certainly helped elevate the dreams sleep rest state. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, we're almost coming up to two hours. We got to sample the rest of these liqueurs. What's going on? Chemite. Chemlite. Chemlite. Ah, uh -huh. and hell yeah, man. Love the channel. Awesome. Thank you very much, Chemlite. Elderberry, so good, so unique, so unique, medicinal as well. All three of them. Mm -mm, this is 2018. This one's 2020, and this is 2020. So we'll sample the 2020, and then we'll sample the 2018 as well. Okay. Actually, you know what? This one's got more seeds. Um, what do you call it? The alcohol is at the top of it. So if I pour it, I'll get the seeds. I'm going to pour this one because it's got more liquid in it. Okay. This type of glass yet. Nice. Look at this color. Look at this color. The smell is absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. I usually use absolute. I just find it works well with me. Oh, almost focused. very dark uh, wow absolutely wow no not moonshine liqueur Absolutely wow. Yeah, looks like wine. Ain't wine. Ain't wine. So these two will be the same. They're 2020. couple of nuts I love the cigar stream me too good talks good talks it was a fantastic stream really I very much enjoyed it chicapone You'll never take me alive, G Man. <laughs> oh my god. Super delicious. Wow. Whew. What a unique flavor. night for dinner uh, you're asking me if I exercise yoga walk or sports for fitness I do a little bit of weights just a little bit okay 
and I guess I I'm not doing enough weights. So I'm having a hard time opening this baby. <laughs> a little bit of weights. I definitely go for walks. Uh, I swim as long as the water is not super crazy cold. Um, but I used to do more exercise. I need to get into more. I haven't done too many of my huge long walks lately. Just, I don't know, just fell out of it for now. But uh, I do do weights, minor weights, not too much, five pounds and 10 pounds, certain movements uh, every second day, basically, three to four times a week. Mm. Let's do, this is the 2018 one. And elderberry is very medicinal, very medicinal. We've got two more liqueurs to sample. Very nice. Tastes very much the same as the other one. Okay. Motionless poetry. I need to implement weight exercise. I have 10 pounds, but do not know where to begin. The simplest things. Look, uh, a lot of us spend a lot of time on the computer. One of the weight exercises I do, I take five pound weights, that's it. And you do the flies. You stand there, pull, pull out your bum, right? So you're supporting your lower back maybe we'll do an exercise one but just do flies and just think about the motion right and at the end you pinch your with five pounds you can do 30 40 of them or something like this just do simple curls 10 pounds right um, just do motion anything any type of motion that you can think of do it with weights that's doing weights right and slowly you become your posture will become more solid your muscles you're you're engaging them but don't do just one exercise with weights do multiple variety of exercises with weights right you can use the the, the bands as well right you can do do these where you're working the back as well there's so much there's so much Eliga Chicho I took that uh, 10 minute following command off earlier if you missed it and we need a uh, fo foliage command maybe okay followage command uh, yeah it's working out fine right now if you took yeah I saw you take it off so it's gone for good okay good enough so followage is the command yeah I love an exercise stream okay we did one before uh, but I'll do another one uh, let's let's decide on the fall we'll do one okay data do you add any lime when storing the juices no no but we're gonna we I have a lemon liqueur one that I love absolutely okay so that one we're gonna sample right now I'm learning jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is amazing. I've taken some uh, jiu-jitsu lessons. It's taxing and grits us. Amazing exercise. It's like wrestling, but um, not martial arts style, though. Do you have any uh, circulation green fans within the uh, facility? Circulation green fans. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Warm and loose. Warm and loose. Follow it. What are you trying to do? The command? elderberry fantastic let's pop a little cheese and lettuce hey there's a fly kicking around here a 20 kilo reps of 30 that's heavy duty that's good though man no seriously 
body feels so much better. And I started doing this because I was having shoulder issues, right? So, and the shoulder issues have diminished a lot. It's taken months, but it's diminished a lot. Still there, but working on it. Basically, fans that are used within greenhouses to circulate air within a conservatory. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any type of fan really will work. But we don't have any, I'm not growing anything in a closed environment. So, um, we got lots of windows and we do have fans blowing as well. Dizzy Onion, I really hope I'm as happy and content with life as you when I'm older. Such a chill guy on Common Voice. Thank you. I've worked hard at it, man, and I've gone through some dark times. Like, really, what you see here is, uh, uh, you know, I'm 50 plus, right? There's been periods in my life where it was very chaotic, man. Very chaotic. Lucky I got out of them, right? Lucky I got out of them. Two more liqueur sample. We'll do the lemon last. Cinnamon sticks. These are cinnamon sticks that I used uh, to make cr either crab apple butter or applesauce. Okay. So they're strong. They're very strong. They're very strong. They're both very strong. This is older. Take a look. This is from probably about five years ago. What was one of your most unhealthiest points in your life? Unhealthiest points in my life. There was a like there was a period where I gained a tremendous amount of weight. Uh, I was under a lot of stress. I was partying my ass off, eating heavy duty Chinese food at like three o'clock in the morning after clubbing and shit like this. At four o'clock in the morning. There was a period of my life where I weighed weight wise I was 215 pounds right I was 30 plus pounds overweight and I lost that right that was the plump chicho <laughs> and I'll tell you guys a story one day right but yeah there was a period of my life where I was like 35 40 pounds overweight right it, it, I had a great time. It was an amazing period. It was due to stresses in my life. Uh, and I dealt with them that way. And I was drinking heavy and stuff like this. And eating ridiculous food at like 4 o'clock in the morning with gangsters and shit. But it was pretty fun. But yeah, not a healthy way to be. I wouldn't be here right now if I maintained that life. I'd be dead long ago. Long ago. Right? here now overweight yeah i'm here now overweight 105 kilos something like that yeah micro twist i uh, really i was 200 i was pushing 220 pounds what the f right cinnamon sticks are amazing right lose the weight you feel better get back in shape amazing smell Meta Dragons Chicho. Approximately, what is the average alcohol concentration per fluid ounce with your liqueur? Do you find yourself a little buzzed after t testing session? Am I a little buzzed right now? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe after the fact, I'll I'll decide yes or no. Uh, one of the things with alcohol is um, it's seldom that you realize at what point you are until after the fact right that's one of the reasons people uh drink and drive right they don't realize how wasted they are right oh i'm okay no you're not okay dude you pound it back too many drinks you should be no i'm okay i'm functional no you're not right so alcohol is a funny thing alcohol is a funny thing okay my tolerance in general has been extremely high in the past not now uh, but right now I'm only sampling a little bit micro twist I dropped the beer and alcohol that's one of the things I did to lose a lot of weight I drink sometimes not at all the time now I dropped seven kilos when I 
uh, drop the alcohol in no time. Yeah, me too. Me too. Huge. And don't eat heavy food at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Right? And exercise. Was it in your 20s, 30s, or 40s? Uh, 20s and 30s. More the 20s. A little bit in the 30s maybe too. Let's try this one. This man, I love, love if uh, Germans would be like you. They're st uh, stalking people through their windows all the time and wait for something to complain about because they are bored at all. Are, are, are they? No. I hope not. I have relatives that live there. Meta Dragons. For some reason, Automat zap your comment, so I allowed it. I'm going to read it just to make sure it's okay. <laughs> yeah, man. Alcohol is a killer temptation in Western societies. Glamorization is a nasty thing, but moderation is sexy indeed. Thanks for being a great inspiration in that regard. So, uh, man, it's just lesson learned. Uh, but my pleasure I, look if we're not sharing the positive aspects what we've done to get out of holes in our lives then what are we good for right? really what are we good for look at the cinnamon sticks in this look at that The color on this is a lot stronger. Look at the color on this. Beautiful. This is from 2020. The other one is from like five years ago, right? It'd be 2017, 2016. The flavor, the cinnamon flavor is not as strong. Look at this, the wasp going crazy on this. Really, salute gang, salute. Will I get drunk after that sampling session? Mm, not drunk, no. But I wouldn't be driving, that's for sure. Or operating heavy equipment. Our last liqueur, once we finish the cinnamon, is the lemon. One of my favorite liqueurs. Cosmic Visions, how are you doing? I love that color, Cheryl says. One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> the cinnamon color. So good, so good. Meta Dragons. Indeed, I have many people in my life that have really struggled with alcohol, including um, generic uh, predispositions to addiction. But we're fighting the good fight out there. Indeed, indeed. How old is this one? This was uh, 2020, I believe. 2020. The cinnamon one, the last one, this one, was from 2020. Okay, I made some um, uh, applesauce, and those are the cinnamon sticks from the applesauce that I made. So good, so good. It, was, it actually was crab applesauce, I believe. I, I made crab apple butter. So good, so good. Really amazing. absolutely delicious deep flakes just curious do you feel attached to a local in real life community or have you reached out online for this might be a personal question um 
I do have my local communities that I that I have connections connections with, but like many of you, many of us, right? Uh, people in our societies right now are under a tremendous amount of propaganda. So there's a lot of people that are a little confused of what's going on in the world. And it becomes difficult to communicate to people on a certain level in regards to politics and economics uh, when they don't know, when they don't, they're not heavily involved in researching information online, right? So this is, as far as I'm concerned, one of my communities that I reach out to, an important community uh, that I'm involved with, what I do here. Uh, I have other communities that I interact with, right? Uh, but not on this level. It's a different level. It's a different game. Show the cinnamon up close? Okay. Check it out. These are the cinnamon sticks. And those uh, little bits of stuff you see on the cinnamon sticks, those are apple, right? And it's in there tight. Take a look. So I make applesauce or crab apple butter, put the cinnamon sticks in there. And then when I'm done, I've taken the cinnamon sticks and just put them in the jar and put vodka on top, right? And it, I might prop. Did I put sugar on this? I, I put one fifteenth cup um, added sugar, so very little sugar, very little sugar. Okay, very little sugar, very little sugar. Elder God, I was watching V for Vendetta last night. During a few scenes, I thought the movie had stopped and the BBC News was on. <laughs> the fat guy. Yeah. What was his name? Let's use a new glass. We're going to use a big glass for this. This is lemon. Lemon liqueur is one of my favorite liqueurs, gang. We made this together. Okay, this has multiple iterations left in it, right? Of just pouring vodka and whatnot on top, right? Ginseng, so good. Oh, what an amazing smell! What an amazing smell. We'll pour us a big one for our last sample. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Lemon. Salud, gang. Thank you for being here. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Oh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. 12 out of 10. Right? 12 out of 10. Deflake, damn. I didn't know about ginseng. Sounds a lot like. Ut, Ag agara wood situation. I love ut. Proto, love a lot box. I used to train weight some years back, but got tired of it after some time. But when I started running and I learned all about the benefits of it, so now I rather have a strong heart than a big bicep. I, there's nothing wrong with doing weights in a cardio fashion, right? 
do your weights fast so you kick up your heart rate above a certain level depending on your age where you get that cardio workout the cardio workout is ridiculously important i should do more of it i should do a lot more of it actually that is this kind of net for the top of the bottle do you have any water vortexing no i don't man i look, looked into water vortexing a long time ago the russian guy that came up with the concept of water vortexing brilliant this is the lemon right. absolutely phenomenal that's if we can get it focused again so good so good I looked into it a long time ago I will at some point when I at some point when we buy property build a water vortexing device CSS1 been lurking in the background but really enjoying the stream man awesome I'm glad you popped in to say uh, send us the message man thank you for being here micro twist do you live by yourself chicho or are you married not married i don't i don't believe in introducing the state or a religious institution into uh, private relationships but i do have a partner that i care for very much and we've been together for a very long time um, you would have seen her in three videos one of them is look for chicho uh, and type in chicho female menstrual cycle we did a math video together looking at the cyclic function of the female menstrual cycle it was extremely important for all males to understand that and then we did a beard two beard videos together beard love chicho beard love or for the love of beards or something like this <laughs> and she wants to do crab apple butter uh not crab apple butter um sourdough live stream with us so she's she knows how to make sourdough uh, so uh, she's been making a lot of sourdough putting putting on a little weight uh, we reduced the amount of sourdough we're eating but she's making some amazing some of the best bread I've ever eaten in my life and uh, we've talked about it and we're gonna do sourdough live streams together uh, all the steps during a day of how to do it and stuff like this okay King Canada live rating with a party of three awesome thanks King Canada live Joe I started to get get into swimming before lockdown and all of the pools got closed and a great way to train cardio as well as the full body indeed indeed swimming is amazing oh cl climbing is okay just be careful I've known people that climb hi this is Sal again our kitty cat he likes going in and out look at him he's just like the loveliest thing it's so nice look at that hi how's it going you doing good you want to say hi to the people look at that he's seeing a wasp he's like can i get the wasp you want to go get him yeah you're really loving the pets look oh you got me hooked you want to go in no oh you want more lemon come on he wants more lemon <laughs> voice of lemon haha <laughs> strength through unity unity through faith i'm a god-fearing englishman and i'm goddamn proud of it that's v for vendetta do you juice any of your uh, plant? No, I haven't gotten to juicing yet. I've heard amazing things about it. Look, Sal, the cure. You want to reach out for it, don't you? Hmm? Uh oh. Don't lock yourself in. Look at this. He really wants a lot of loving. Yeah. He's got like a. He meows like a sheep. Meow. You got to go now. 
It's been cool hanging out. Awesome. Thank you for hanging out. We're at the end, basically. I, Elder God, she's making gluten-free sourdough bread. It's amazing. I had some this morning. Gluten-free sourdough bread. She's perfected it. Gluten-free. She's making gluten-free sourdough bread. We're going to show it. We're going to... She's told me she's going to do it. Okay. What a chatty cat. She Actually, Sal is not that chatty unless he wants food or he wants some loving. Okay. Otherwise, he says, leave me alone. Let me do my thing. Yo. <laughs> Rock climbing. Oh, my God. Rock climbing is great exercise, but man, be careful. Last time I went, I was leading a route and all the protective gear I placed fell out of the rock oh my god freaked me out and I never went again picked up uh, surfing instead <laughs> yeah I've had a friend I've had two friends actually one in high school he used to go solo climbing and he used to write for the National Geographic and stuff like this and then he disappeared for a few months and he came back six months later he had broken half his body he fell I had another friend that was going climbing with others he wasn't as uh, adventurous as the other one and he fell down like 90 feet and he was in the hospital for six months I was like mm, I think I'm gonna stay away from that All right I heard strengthening the core dada I heard strengthening the core is one of the most important things to retain good structure at olden age indeed your thoughts on core exercise being important for later uh, stages of life. Indeed, core exercise and legs. Do the legs. Legs kicking to the core. Elder God will know a lot more about this, right? But the core is crazy important, like crazy important. Um, one way to get a boost to your core is to work the legs, okay? I'm coming over and say, Elder God, we're going to do live streams of sourdough bread and she's going to show us how to make gluten-free sourdough bread. I had I had three slices today. So good. So good. Nice. Hey, Chicho, how's it going? Doing good. Doing good. You're catching us at the end of uh, sampling a lot of the cure. Salute, gang. Oh, supermarket and gluten free. No, garbage. Elder God, compared to what my partner is making, all other gluten free bread I've eaten, garbage, garbage, garbage. Like, seriously, you can't even compare it. Sinai for dinner, Mount Everest, a full of highly motivated people that never came back. Yeah, and uh, from what I heard with Mount Everest, it's on the way back is when they die majority of people on the way back is when they kick the bucket right meta dragon shicho would it be possible for you to break down your daily exercise if you have already done this then um, then i'll seek it out but i've uh, always been curious since you mentioned that you did them um we have some exercise meditation videos on there on uh, sensor tube there's a playlist if you do chicho meditation it should pop up right and i do share some of my exercises there i think i if you do chicho exercise i shared something like two years ago uh changed my routine a little bit so how about let's decide in the fall uh we'll go through an exercise routine i have things that i'm doing right now but i'm introducing some new ones uh, just because i've been modifying what I've been doing by the fall I'll have it down packed okay and we'll do it and if you guys send me a reminder for sure we won't miss it yeah I really live in a beautiful place here thank you I, I put in time for this game look this didn't happen naturally I spent two weeks in the patio setting this up right um, it takes time to make your space create what you love right put the time in sometimes the time in requires multiple years of studying and learning and doing before you can really nail something down so that's just the way it is that's life that's the ride 
some people want things instantly it doesn't instant 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 gratification is what corporations a centralized government and propagandists try to sell people that's not real life that's bullshit right deep fake cycling has been a new thing yeah cycling is amazing getting a bike has been one of the best decisions i've made yeah cycling works the legs so much so much just be careful with cycling uh, from what i understand a lot of half not i don't let's say half but a lot of professional cyclists are impotent they're not impotent uh, what do you say when you, you can't get it up anymore right is it impotent or i don't know what the word is so you want to make sure you're not doing any damage to your between your legs right kuro show how are you doing i hope i get to buy my own apartment in future years tenancy is quite hard especially in iran oh man iran i heard crazy things about the uh, iranian tenancy the rates and stuff is crazy that uh do you think ai will be able to cracks uh crack smell and add taste grading to liqueurs in the future i don't know we don't have ai right now we have machine learning right now but not really ai i think we're quite a ways away from true ai mega drawing is awesome many thanks i'll check those out awesome let me know if you're looking for something if you don't find it i'll i'll see if i've done something like that elder god quote the core of understanding lies in the individual mind and until that is touched everything is uncertain and superficial truth cannot be perceived until we come to fully understand our potential on ourselves end quote joe have you heard of a climber called alex honold famous for free climbing huge roots such as yosemite no i know I, I knew one free not new but i watched a couple of videos of this one free climber he had long hair and he was doing a lot of free climbing and then he had a kid and soon after he decided to not do the free climbing anymore because it was dangerous and he said okay i'll do one more and on that one more he fell and fell and died do you have any good iced tea recipes iced tea recipes that just make tea and put it in the fridge uh, with honey but make sure you add the honey if you want it sweet add the honey when the when the tea is warm before you put it in the fridge that way you have sweet iced tea that is, that's the right word yeah so be careful riding a bike maybe you don't want to be sitting on a or get an amazing seat you don't want to be sitting on a seat and going over bumps and you're getting constant pounding between the legs not a good idea that might be doing a lot of damage gang let's call the stream couple of two and a half hours okay thank you for being here salute salute amazing way to end it with a liqueur with a lemon liqueur we called it the seat of semis back in the day i used to cycle is that what you called it <laughs> hilarious <laughs> thank you chicho everything chicho and gang catch you next time catch you guys next time salute nice stream have a good one everyone you guys as well it's my pleasure thank you for being here gang if you want to know what this is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what we are doing patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything beyond paywall everything's creative commons share and share and like and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this so i know i along with many other people thank you very much for that support we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat that's happening in front of the cannabis plant twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the love thank you for the support thank you for being here on twitch and mods thank you for taking care of business it is in large part because of the support we're getting on these two platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing I do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines, VK, Elo, Gap, BitCloud, and Getter. 
okay that's six platforms we're on and we are definitely not on twitter twitter is a shithole okay so uh follow us on those social networking sites and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you want and type an exclamation mark social and you can see most of those links there including a discord page that we have discord server that we have where there's a lot of people that have joined the discord server for 800 plus i believe now that are sharing information talking to each other right open dialogue and it's fantastic it's fantastic we do upload audio of live streams where we don't have any visuals to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this full live stream to sensor to to bitch to rumble and to odyssey and for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms that are following liking sharing thank you very much for the support and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work through youtube membership sensor tube membership thank you very much for the support gang aside from that we're going to take about a week break week or 10 day break okay and uh, i'll probably announce the next set of live streams in about a week we'll probably upload two more videos and let it sit for a couple of few days okay and um and then i'll upload the the videos the live streams we've done in segments next week just to get caught up so there's going to be about a five day six day lag after the stream um after tomorrow i believe okay just taking a break and sorting things out and then we'll be back full speed again next week bye everyone i hope you have a fantastic week and thank you for being here <laughs>